4th, Wednesday, and we are on our way to the airport. Hi, Mama! Okay, see ya. This is exciting. We're finally leaving. This trip has been in the works for like three months, and I'm ready to go. Go on to San Francisco Airport, not Oakland. We got a little bit of a drive, but it's gonna be super duper worth it, and we're excited. Okay. It's not a picture, it's a video I've been recording for about 20 seconds. We made it to security in about half a minute. It was super duper clutch. If y'all don't got TSA pre-check, you should get that. It's about $85 for five years of pre-check, which is basically you skip the security line. So it is awesome. But yeah, we made it to the airport. Our flight is delayed 30 minutes, 25 minutes. She's not helping me out. We are so I have to. Oh, she was Elsa. Oh, I'm not looking at the camera. Oh, oh my, my goodness. goodness. So I have to. <laughs> Okay, so we made it to Denver. This airport is huge. Wow. What is, what even is this? We have to take the train? Mama, I don't have my glasses on. Where are we going? You don't have yours on either? Okay, we both can't see. I'm walking. And my mom decided to stop at Sis Candy and not take anything. So now, I have to walk back. Excuse me, sorry. <laughs> We're eating now. I got some chow fun with some chicken and shrimp and vegetables and beef. Mama got some garlic shrimp. So I was just showing your shrimp. So We're not supposed to get there until 12:30 at night, and we left at one. We're literally traveling for 12 hours. But you know, it's gonna be worth it when I got some beignets and crawfish and gator and frog legs and everything else in my stomach. Alright, so I for real I for real died right after I took that shot of us taking off from Denver. We were just traveling for too long. Like we really traveled for 12 hours and we just got to where we we're staying. There's mama over there. Mom! Hi. It's 1.49 a.m. It's a little late, but it don't matter. We don't sleep, the city don't sleep. Good morning, good afternoon. We slept. <laughs> it's the next day. Thursday, July 5th, and it's 12, 19 p.m. Ready now. There's mama. Yes, you want you something for from walking water? In my shot. Uh, yeah. Oh, banana uh -oh. With some the yellow toes and the yellow sides. This is the outfit of the day. Shout out to Fashion Nova. This is the place we just left. It's fire. It's a little hole in the wall looking restaurant, but y'all should definitely check it out if you ever out here. Those shrimp and grits were immaculate. Superb, spectacular. It was good. I said out of 10. Oh. About eight. Eight out of 10. Will do.
We got uh, some po' boys. I got a catfish po' boy. Mama got, what kind did you get? Shrimp? Shrimp. Shrimp po' boy. We out here with the po' boy. We just ate here. It was lit. It was yum yum. I almost fell down some stairs. Now we're going this way. After eating, we had to go get some more. Oh no, they did not just have a caramel apple shop over there. They know that what? It's a whole shop. Oh, oh lord, my. Oh, did you smell it? Like, you can smell that. Okay, we. What's this place called? Kilwins. This is it right here. Okay, so we're gonna be back tomorrow because that smell. Oh my god, it's starting to rain. Oh lord. We had to go get some beignets though. Oh, wait, you can't see, it's too Okay, we had to go get some beignets again. It's our second time at Cafe Du Monde in uh, two days. But you know what? It's so worth it. Oh no, it's starting to rain. This is not gonna work for Kayla. Kayla's hair is not rain friendly. We gonna be running back. Uh-uh, Ma, it's raining, work it for me. Oh no, no, no. It is day three. Oh yeah, day three. What's up y'all? I didn't close the video out yesterday because I came home, ate some beignets, and went to sleep. But it is July 6th and uh, we you came are... Home. Huh? You came home? Came home? Yeah. Came to the, the, the place we're staying at? Hotel? Hostel? Not mm -hmm. hostel. Hotel? Oh, we know. <laughs> resort. resort. There we go. Today we are actually going to the festival. Yeah, I don't know what else we're going to be doing. Eating. I want another daiquiri. Can I get one? Mom, please. Here's today's outfit of the day. Gotta represent my warriors, you know. Then I have my Levi jeans that I have not worn before, but I love the way they fit. Ooh. Who is she? Here we go. And then we got the little, little fake Birkenstocks. So here, my feet hurt from those. You know what, these aren't as cute as those, but my feet feel cute, so. Oh, my toes cute though, let's go. Oh my God, I have a foot tan. <gasps> Place we're at right now is like super cute. It, the home has such a New Orleans feel and I'm living for it. This is the second place that we have moved to. This is like an Airbnb, the other place, I don't know what it was, a hotel, kinda, but this is the Airbnb and I like it a lot better. It's really, it's way bigger and it's just like more homey and it's awesome. Love it. Love it. Ten out of ten. This little place is in there. Ouch! I got my beads on. Well, she added all pecans, so just keep going. This is home! Welcome home! Going to the festival. Okay, let's see. The convention. The convention. Are you excited, Mama? Uh, yeah. Okay. Let's let's see where this this hallway is like super long. It's like wow, but it's sweet. Thank you. 
still best selling. But tell us, what does T H U G mean? What is the hate you give? Am I allowed to curse? I'm Southern. I have to ask that first. <laughs> she said curse, curse. Okay, the hate you give actually came from Tupac. Pac had that thug life tattoo across his abdomen, but a lot of people don't know thug life was an acronym for the hate you give little infants fucks everybody. He said that what society feeds into you has a way of affecting us all. And he said this in like 92 in reference to the Los Angeles riots. Um, because that wasn't just about Rodney King, that was about Latasha Harlan. And Pop said the hate that was given to that little infant Latasha fucked the entire city of Los Angeles. As I was writing this book, I thought about it. The hate that's given to Trayvon Martin fucked the entire city of San The hate that was given to Tamir Rice fucked the entire city of Cleveland. Because the hate that's given to Khalil and to Star fucks their entire community. That's the life. So I just saw Amanda Stenberg and Regina Hall for their new movie, The Hate You Give, and I want to see that movie so bad. And I didn't even know they were going to be here. I just ran over there and it was a struggle, but I saw them and I pooped. And I'm just, Don't you <laughs> <laughs> I died. Like I really just passed out. I passed away. My funeral service will be tomorrow. Ten out of ten. There's so much more to do. We have like two days left. It's just it's overwhelming. It's done a great job appealing to me. Bloody Mary cocktail. No, I'm not. I'm at the restaurant. 
Yeah. Okay. Is that, do no, I chew the no, oysters? Yes. We have any? We just want to. Oh, this is good. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, Oh, yeah. 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 Oh,